So let's let's just go through the step by step. Right, so first thing, uh, look, do it, look, locate. Okay, now let's talk about locate. Uh, one of the uh, JM Susie. What is the fine point on the uh, right hand side? Locate. Now. When this activates, it does activate by pulling it out sideways. However, like I say, under the right circumstances, um, we have pin it up between the two. That's not going to come out of there, and it's going to leave you permanently attached to your main. And it may just keep it there long enough for it to tangle up and stuff before there's enough force to actually release it. Okay, so... Uh, now you're going to pack that again now. Uh, oh, yeah. Are we going to pack that <laughs> okay, so you deployed, you get line twist, it stayed like that, things are going bad, so you cut away. Okay. Oh. Where's your cylinder? <laughs> Wasn't hooked up. Okay, so we didn't do a very good no, Three jump check there. Yeah. Okay, so this is attached to your riser. And you can see that's pulling it out sideways between these two rings. And how much force uh, do you require? Uh, like the way uh, of a hippie. <laughs> 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 the book says uh, between uh, 8 and 22 pounds on the, the pull. Oh, this is a bit of better. You see you're not getting a nice direct pull on it there. And this is how you can usually tell that the uh, RSL has actually done its job, is there will be a kink in here after it's been used. But if you look in the container here, you can see there's the cutter for his uh, AED. And basically the closing loop just runs through it. And that fires the cuts and releases it from the bottom end. Some rigs are different, like on uh, the Infinity, the cutter's actually mounted up here on the top flap. Okay, so we've had a problem. Now, <laughs> okay, we're at the right side. Um, you may not see this happen, I'll, because I'll have to show you some stuff inside there, but what's going to happen is this is not going to just put a pin and then go away. Okay, now there's the pilot chute fired out, but this is still attached. <coughs> this is the skyhook, that little thing there. So you can see there's a little hook here. So it's a race between your main, which is like a gigantic pilot chute, or the actual pilot chute if this isn't out. Whichever one gets out here first, see this will, it remains out but spinning now or whatever. It's got a lot of force behind it. And that will pull the reserve out and uh, you're good to go. If this is still in the bag or doesn't have the pull and that takes off first, 
it'll just uh, pull this way, and that will release. But either way, you've got a 150 square foot pilot shoot on your reserve all of a sudden.